Yo, I just want to give a quick cautionary message that no fap can be dangerous and that if you're feeling extra horny because of no fap or just extra, you know, more testosterone going through your veins, don't do something you might regret for the sake of keeping your no fap streak. For example, don't have sex with a girl who you probably shouldn't have sex with who like your best self wouldn't have sex with just because you're like insanely horny because of no fap or like don't get into a fight with someone because you're like extra heated because you're on no fap it's better to fap and not do something you regret like fapping isn't <laughs> isn't the end of the world um, a fap every once in a while isn't that big of a deal and I just want to sometimes with no fappers I see this kind of like obsessive attitude and that's not the way to go about no fap at all I think one reason why I'm pretty successful at no fap is I don't take no fap too seriously <laughs> which is you know it's kind of paradoxical you know maybe rather than being the perfect no fapper I think for lots of guys developing more of like a meditation practice would be a better thing to put their effort into um, or like yoga or you, you know some something to get more in touch with with their mind I think probably meditation is the best thing meditation is really a, I think perhaps an essential foundation to be successful at no fap because if you're ungrounded it's like what's the point of uh, being on no fap what would your best self want don't don't obsess about no fap and I, I truly think that like a meditation practice um, is like an essential foundation if you want to be successful with no fap I'm on day 753 I think right now have a great day peace